today I'm going to use this to make this. That's shawarma with just a stove and a cooking pot. Yes, I said it. I said it. If you think it's not possible, well, wait till the end of this video, then you judge for yourself. Welcome to my cooking channel, like father, like son. I'm your local chef, Vino Nobu. Okay, so what and what do we need to make this shawarma? First of all, we need the bread. I call it the unleavened bread because there's no use to it. So I call it dough. I don't know shawarma. I call it unleavened bread. We need the bread. We need cabbage, and we also need. Um, protein for this shawarma i'll be using chicken so and a little bit of corned beef we need uh, ketchup and uh, mayonnaise what else another spice is to spicing up the protein i think that's it we're good to go what's so unique about this my shawarma is because we're going to make it with just ordinary stove and uh, pot so you don't need to have sophisticated kitchen gadgets. You can make this shawarma right in your home with whatever you have. And this is my first time of trying out shawarma. I've not even tried it before. But I've been eating a lot of shawarmas, you know, different types. I first tasted shawarma in 2006. That was, you know, where Imo State. I think Imo State has the best shawarma. So since then, I've been in love with shawarma, so today I'll be making my own version of shawarma. To start, I have to wash my chicken, then put them in a pot. I'm going to now add some spices, cut some onions into it, and then add two cubes of naan. Then put it on fire and allow it to boil. While the chicken is on the fire, I have to now wash my hot dogs and get them ready. Then check back on the chicken and add some water. I have to add little quantity of water because I want to use the water as part of the sauce. While the chicken is boiling, I would prepare my minced meat or corned beef and get it ready. Now our chicken is cooked, I'm going to bring them out from the pot and put the hot dogs inside the same water that I use in cooking the chicken so that the spices and all the ingredients I put in will also boil into the hot dogs. While the hot dogs is boiling, I'll have to now debone the chicken. So I'll remove the bone from the chicken parts and cut the chicken into pieces as much as possible. Okay, our hot dogs is also cooked, so I'll remove it from the pot and also put the minced meat or corned beef into the same water and boil the meat. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to bring out the cabbage and uh, prepare it by cutting it into pieces. Then also check on the meat the meat is fully cooked now and uh, 
you can see that the water is almost dried up so i'm going to add the chicken that i've cut into pieces into the same pot now i'm not boiling it again off of the light then i'm going to mix the cabbage and the chicken and the hot dogs and the mix meat together inside the pot so i'm going to bring out the mixed vegetables and prepare it by putting it inside the bowl then i will add mayonnaise and mix them together then add ketchup and mix it also together then finally take the mixture of the mayonnaise and ketchup and the mixed vegetable and pour it inside the pot and mix everything together At this stage, I will need to bring out the shawarma bread. So, bring out the shawarma bread, then put some quantity of the mixture into the bread and wrap it together. then put them in a pot and put it on the fire so because i used a frying pan that is not non-stick and uh, there was direct heat touching the shawarma the shawarma got burnt So I had to devise another way by using a pot and putting some things below the pot to avoid direct heat from getting to the shawarma. Well, subsequently, I might use also foil and other things, but it worked. So to confirm how good my shawarma is, I took some quantity to my office and allowed my colleagues to be the judge. Here is what they have to say. This is yummy. It's tantalizing, isn't it? It's a lot of this in there. Mm. Wow. See, shawarma with fork. Hey, enjoyment. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video and you've learned something. Leave us a comment, like, and share. But don't forget, please, I beg you, subscribe. Next week, you have another fresh video from me teaching you something interesting again. I'm your host, your local chef, Vine I'm crossing the road, okay. I'm going home to grab me the shower. Okay?